MSP Waves Radio and its owners take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guest. Statements and show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the radio station. The material on these shows is provided for educational and informational purposes only. to Senior Live. Good morning, MSP! I like that oh. song. I love that song. You like that? That's our new theme song. How yeah. does everybody like that? I like that. That was good. <laughs> that made me happy. It, it gets it's like a beat, gets you going. Yeah. Whips in the audience doing the robot. I know I saw that. That made me laugh. <laughs> I was like, aww. Yay! Welcome everybody to the Sim Your Life show. We are live on MSP Waves of Radio and it is part of the Minnow Support Project here on Steamit.com. How is everybody this lovely Tuesday morning? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm very slow and confused, but that's okay. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Can you believe we are at the end of February already? Is no! I, it's like January it was so long in February. I just know, put... I know. I was crazy. just, I, I was like, oh, tomorrow's the first, right? Tomorrow? No. Yeah, I, it's, no, we have 28. Yeah, because my husband's birthday is on the first. Oh, okay. I have to remember. <laughs> yeah, you like should. happy birthday all week and then forget it on the day. <laughs> oh, well, good evening. Good evening. Cotex, look at all the people in the audience today. We have Breeze and Cotex and T3 and Whip Girl. T3 made it, yeah. MD T3 Joey. has not missed a week of our no. wonderful, <laughs> smooth show. It has it's been smooth, I tell you. <laughs> Every show is just, just, it's so easy, and we just show up, and yeah. we put on the air, and it's just wonderful. There's no, simple. you know. No complications. No. Easy peasy. I always hated that expression, easy peasy. Really? I used that. Do you use that? <laughs> Do you use that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, we had, when I used well, to I used to World use Warcraft. it sarcastically. Yeah, when we used to play World of Warcraft, there would be one of our guild uh, leaders, and they would say, it's easy peasy, easy peasy, and they would oh, die. Oh, no, 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 no. It's I, not easy peasy. I, I usually use it. Yeah, T3 is our number one fan. He's our number one fan. Oh, is, is T3 a girl or a guy? I guess uh, I don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> I got flowers by your name, but in this... You got flowers. You can't, you don't know. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. yeah, no, I use it more like, you know, you know, like easy peasy. I don't know. Easy peasy. More... It's, it's like when a recipe, when you have a recipe, it's easy peasy. Yes. yes. When yeah. you go into a raid to kill a boss, it's not easy peasy. There is no, uh, no. For me, uh, anything that has raid in front of it is not easy peasy. Or, dun <laughs> or dungeon, for that matter. It's like, oh yeah, it's a really easy one. Okay, am I like level 300 and it's a level 5 dungeon? Well, that would be easy peasy. Okay, other than that. Yeah, skull dragging my tune through a dungeon is easy. Yeah. yeah. T3 says that's the question everyone wants to know. <laughs> oh, if they're, if they're guy or girl? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, now you've got two different flowers. <laughs> and, That's what and, I was thinking. And, it, and it's pink. <laughs> Definitely not OCD because those flowers would be identical. Right. No, I like that they're different, <laughs> they're though. Different. I like flowers. <laughs> Can't imagine you two on Oh, we died a lot. 
We used to have the bit strips. Remember we did the bit strips and there was that one where you said, I thought you were healing. And I was like, no, I'm DPS. Oh. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> she would change. She was a healer. I mean, she's always been a healer. And then she was, but then, I don't know. She's like, oh, you guys are living. And then she switched to DPS and we wiped, totally wiped. And I'm like, I thought you were healing. Well, no, I told you I was DPS. I'm like, what? <laughs> But if you're just tuning in, this is the Sim Your Life show, not the World of Warcraft show. <laughs> but we play every game there is, so we could be talking about any game as long as I was going to say, this is, the, this is the Sim Girl and Snook chat show. Welcome to our morning. <laughs> you don't gender stereotype. We just class you as awesome. Oh, and that's we... Well, it is. It's just hard because you say you have to say they instead yeah. of him or her well most times I messed it up anyways because I moved to sure. the south and everyone wants you to say yes ma'am no ma'am yes they do and, yes. well see I, I talk to a lot more women than I talk to men so whenever uh, I talk to a guy I'm like yes ma'am and then I'm like oh fudge yeah. you're not a ma'am yeah you're a sir the only thing we said up north when we were younger is no sir and it was very sarcastic it, like no sir well unless your dad was staring down at you but yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it was uh yeah yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, you know yeah. and that was but, not sarcastic but yeah. um so that's uh, one of the things i had to get used to when i moved here yes is the use of ma'am and uh yeah because yeah, I, I, I actually am worse i don't even say yes i say yeah which they're like that's like a slap in the face if you say that yes yeah. they're very polite they're down there <laughs> but they're kind of sneaky Proper. too. <laughs> no offense to the south, but <laughs> I'm just saying, I lived there for six months. <laughs> for six months? Oh my god! I did. I lived run there. back north. I, I well, yeah, yeah that was a whole disastrous <laughs> first marriage. So we <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, our theme this week is marriage. It Speaking is. Speaking of your first marriage that lasted six months on the south. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, segue. <laughs> so let me get our link this week. I was very nervous about this because I really don't want to give advice on people's marriages, but we do deal with it in the Sims game because eventually your Sim has to get married or else they just die alone. Cow you know? udder icon? What is a that? A cow udder? Yeah, that's a cow udder. For what utter? utter. Oh, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I, did that throw you off? Yeah, I don't know how to talk in in uh, emojis yet. I'm still learning <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, Cubby Elizabeth, thank you for listening. Oh, hi, Cubby Elizabeth. Boy, we got the A team here. We got we T3, we got Cubby Elizabeth, we got Whip Girl, Gobo Cop, Breeze, uh, all the cool Mimo. People. Yeah, did, uh, did you tell Menno yet that you did that? Oh, I was going to link that. I was yeah, going to put it in the doohickey. In the doohickey. <laughs> in, the doohickey. <laughs> in the doohickey, that chat thing where you put letters. Okay, it's been a rough, rough morning. It's been a rough morning. Look at our new Sims, everybody. So, so oh, Snook went yeah. online and she got us mods. Yes. Which are modifications to the game. So we have modified our simulated Sims and now they have glowing eyes and real big eyelashes and new hair and new lips. And yeah, we're decked new out. New clothes. We just went ahead and upgraded our Sims. So we look awesome. Yes, that we're very fancy. fancy. <laughs> yeah, so we have to go back to our Elizabeth Cubby and, and fix her up with some glowing eyes. What color eyes are you got, Cubby? Can't really see. I see in brown. I'm too, yeah, brown. I light. made mine like a light brown because the dark brown, you really couldn't tell like they were eyes. It's too dark. Like yeah. glimmery. Yeah, and you couldn't see the, the <sighs> color really. And I made yours real light blue too. Yeah. Well, yeah, mine are like the gray color. 
well, they go from really bright blue to really dark gray in real life. They say that they've seen people try to live as a sim for the day. Yeah, yeah. that's just ridiculous. What is it, like, on autoplay or something, and then they did everything that the, the sim did? If they do that. They do the autoplay first, and then they write down literally everything that the sim uh. did, and then the next day or whatever, <laughs> they actually follow it to a T. Then they go in their phone. Yeah, yeah. Nine and then minutes, minutes going down the stairs and then these people like don't let themselves go to the bathroom I'm like yeah that ain't gonna happen no yeah, yeah. see my, my gripe with the Sims 4 is that you tell them what to do and they don't go right away they no, like just stand there well sometimes it, it's like they do it, they stand there for so long that the, the thing goes away yeah, they get. It's really weird because, like, if you click, if if you click them to interact with somebody else, if that somebody else is doing something, they just end up standing there waiting for them to finish up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they're like stuck in a queue thing. Yeah. And I am. What am I looking for? I know what I'm looking for. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to <laughs> see. This is. <laughs> I don't know. When have you ever known me to, to take that long to find a picture? Never. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, you're finding Minnow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, on that post, if you would like to, um, if you have missed our show, not like T3, cause they've been here the whole time, um, at the bottom of that announcement, we do have the links for all of the radio transmissions that we have recorded since episode one and we're actually actually on episode six this week so yay us i know i can't believe six it six consecutive weeks in a row that's just unheard of i know what did i do with it i don't know i have a picture in the discord if you want me to grab yeah it. yeah because i can't find it this when you go into their uh, screenshots, they like put it in one way and then they like flip it on you. Oh, I find. Wait, I found it. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so tell us about your first marriage, Schnook. Oh no, let's not go there. <laughs> no. <laughs> we won't be talking about that. It was a, a very abusive marriage. Mentally, oh. not physically, I, but you uh, don't talk about it a lot. So no, it, it was it was a um, uh, mentally abusive marriage, and luckily, I um, a friend of mine got was was getting married. Um, but that's a whole other story. But anyway, I had to come home for a wedding, and I realized how uh, beat. Down, I was getting because I've always been, as you see, me now is how I've always been, um, and I had changed into a totally different person from who I was. So uh, anyway, so I I went back, and then a friend of mine flew down, and we drove a car that should not have been able to make it. All the way back to Wisconsin. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah. So it was, um, yeah, with all my life's possessions in it that weren't meant anything. And Aww. Yeah. And I lived in a, it was a, <laughs> it was a, a, in a trailer park. And, uh, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with trailer parks. It's just, you know. <laughs> Space can give us such. A it place. is. It it was. It, it, I, I I lucked out that um, that I my girlfriend was getting married and I had to come home, and then I was with my family and then I I became me again when I was home and then when I went back down there, the neighbors and stuff. Thank you, Breeze. And uh, the neighbors that I had been talking to, because we were very, really poor. I mean, we had nothing. 
and uh, the neighbors would like sneak me food in a way that I would have to take it you know they were really nice and uh, so um, they were like god you seem really different you know and that's when I realized that this was uh, this is not good so so then, of course, my ex-husband was really nice to me for a month, <laughs> and then I left anyway. <laughs> Good. Yeah, because that's how they lure you back in. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I, all of a sudden I got roses and, you know, stuff that we couldn't afford, and I'm like, I can't even afford a gallon of milk, damn it. <laughs> Don't buy me roses. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and tell your brother to stop coming over here and, and drinking our milk that we can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. It is, because you're like, you know, and I wouldn't drink it. I learned I, I learned how to make, uh, because it was, well, down south they have different kinds of, your meat looks way different, you know, beef looks way different than ours, so anyway. <laughs> I went to the beef section, you know, like I would here, and I'm like, yeah, I don't, uh, this is not, you know, Wisconsin quality beef here, so we'll, we'll move on to the chicken section. We're not even going to look at the cheese. Cause... No, no, and uh, so anyway, so I, I learned how to, like, cook chicken, like, 150 different ways, and I'd get a, you know, a whole chicken, because that was the cheapest, but... And uh, I'd make chicken nuggets, and I'd make, I, I did learn how to cook on the fly with absolutely nothing down there, that's for sure. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I didn't realize, I'm, I I miss the Italian food, because I grew up in Pittsburgh, and that's, it's Ita yeah. Italians and Polish, so you've got, the, you know, like, sauerkraut and pierogies, and then you got the pasta and the pizza, I miss all that because down here we don't. No, no. The and Italians don't travel down that far. So. No, and and we. I'm from a German Polish area, uh, so yeah. yeah. I was like Lots looking for brats, which they didn't have. They had these like sausages, <laughs> yeah, that are oh, not sausages. They they're not even close to sausage. <laughs> no, it's really hard to find Italian. Yeah, it's so different. Let's see what they're saying. What's the quality difference in the um? Uh, oh, I'm gonna need to see my beef quality benchmark. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it like looks it's dark it's red it's it's like it's it doesn't look like it's been dead for five days. Yeah, I, it was. I don't know. I, well, this was years ago. I'm sure it might be different now. But it was yeah. like, I mean, just a ground chuck, which back then, ground chuck was cheap. Now, I guess it's not. I don't know. And so between the ground chuck and um, and that, but the beef I, it was, it was like lighter in color. It was like something that would be on sale here. Yes, I, I am. I still am, because I remember going there and looking at the meat, uh, you know, the beef <laughs> section, which is smaller down. See, our, like, beef section up north is, like, three quarters of the thing, and then our chicken <laughs> section is, like, a quarter of it, you know, where you go down south, and then you have, you have a section of, I don't know what the heck this is, because it's got, like, the pig knuckles and all that stuff, which is yeah. really good in a slow cooker with beans and stuff. Don't get me wrong. It is good. But I had no idea. I was I was 20 years, 20, 20 years old. 19, 20, somewhere in there. Oh, wow. And I was like, what the heck? So, okay, well, let's skip that section. And then I went to the beef section, and I went, <laughs> well, this is, like, old beef that I, I wouldn't eat and then I went to the three-fourths of the chicken section and went broke him well, might be possum <laughs> well I know I didn't I don't know I was 20 years old I was a stupid kid uh, uh, that had to always next time I go to the store I'll be looking at the meat like this is not quality beef <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I was like looking for brats, you know, and stuff, and they don't have brats. And and then, well, and then at that time, you couldn't buy beer or wine in, in a grocery store, but there you could. Yeah, that was really weird. Yeah. And First time I went down to... Um, it was yeah. Whip Girl. It was a whole different planet. Way different planet. <laughs> Way different planet. And I had... They don't have quality beef. I had... <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I just remember. And I'm I don't so... want to go to any planet that doesn't have quality uh, beef. Well, I'll that's all we that eat up here is a hamburger. You know, a hamburger <laughs> cast, a hamburger this, a hamburger that. And I'm like... <laughs> uh, and right it's like no it's That's not a brat not a it was some kind of I found the clo it was like some halfway between a breakfast sausage and I don't know what kind of sausage <laughs> and I was like oh so well, we had a no. lot of uh, I would take uh, a can of uh, what was it those beans you know the what you call it beans the brown ones <laughs> The kidney beans? No. No. The ones you have when you go camping. Oh, um, I can't even think of baked beans. Baked beans. So <laughs> this is how poor we were. So I'd, I'd take, i get a pound of hamburger. Finally, I would break down and buy some. And then I'd, I'd cut that in half and add a can of baked beans to it. And then I'd put toast down. And, um, and then that was our dinner. It was baked beans and so yeah everything was trying to you know and then he'd get the milk and I'd, I'd have them well and the water stunk yeah I, well the further south you go the worse I think it smells yeah and we were real close to the ocean so yeah that ocean water there's yeah. really nowhere to go I mean you put your your well in the ground and the water underneath it is you know ocean basically <laughs> S A. What is S A? I'm not sure. South America. South America. They got real big cows down there in South America. I don't know. I've never been. Well, and we're back. I'm really digging these songs. Liking, digging, whatever. Liking these songs you picked out, Sim Girl. They're happy songs. I like that. Please. It was a happy song. Yeah. It is. And South Africa. I'm so sorry, Breeze. It's that uh, whole United States, you know, thing that we don't know that there's another world out there. <laughs> they they did not prepare us. They didn't. Adequately. No, they didn't. they didn't. Because I remember we, we memorized the 50 states. We memorized the The capitals. The, birds, yeah. the capitals. The, the flowers. flowers. Uh. Uh, they didn't tell us there was like a whole other world out there no. that we needed to know. No, no, they didn't. They didn't. I don't like that we can only speak one language either. Right. I think they right. should have done more with that in school. <laughs> well, and then where I was from, everybody took German, but you didn't learn anything. Yeah, I took French, but but I was in ninth grade by then. Who wants to sit there and learn French and you're 14 years old? You know. Well, yeah, you just don't. I think they would have done it in like first or second grade, maybe throw in a ula or something. <laughs> uh, an ula? What's an ula? You mean an ola? Ola. See, <laughs> that's why if they'd have taught me that in school, I'd know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not good with language. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh at you. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. It was just cute. I had to figure out what you were saying. Hola. 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 Oh, with Ola. an O. Hola. Yeah, it's with an O. Yeah. So we go down to this Mexican restaurant in our town, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hola, hello. You know, thinking this guy's, you know, Mexican or Spanish or something. Yeah. No, he's not. He's, <laughs> he's not Spanish at all. <laughs> He's just from the south. He's got like a normal name, like Harry or something. <laughs> All right, fine. I, I'm not even gonna try anymore. No. I'm just gonna say hello in English. 
you respawn. Uh, I yeah, no, <laughs> it, it's really not worth it. <laughs> it's just not because you end up looking foolish. I've learned that. <laughs> yeah, or trying to do accents like no, I can't do that either. No, yeah. But welcome back to the Sim Your Life show. We are here live on MSP Waves Radio, and we are talking about the Sim game. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet, but well, actually, there's a new. <laughs> no, we haven't really. Well, we t- we the topic was marriage, and you made me talk about something I never talked about. So, oh, that's right, because I'm still on my first marriage. So. Yeah, well, I was stupid. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a little more stupid than you are. So. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> do stupid things when you're when you're young. Well, just... you do. Yeah. Then you don't realize it till later that it was too bad. <laughs> and then you go, duh. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. Oh, I just realized that the new um, expansion for The Sims comes out today. <gasps> what is it? Oh, it's a... Uh... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I know. I've been concerned about other things. Oh, it's a... Um... My house, mostly. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. My house is... I haven't been... Anyway. I, my, well, I get spring for... We get three weeks of spring. That's all we get. Right. True. As soon as it turns right. 60, 70 degrees, you got to get your stuff done. Yeah. Or, you know, in three weeks, it will be 80 degrees. Yeah. And then you... T- so, yeah. That is that very is true. Hot. That is that very is. true. Because my mom's doing the same thing. Down at Florida. Yep. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what time of the year. As soon as you see that... That temperature hit seventy. You better get out there and do something, or it'll be it'll sitting be, there for yeah, another year. Yeah, <laughs> that is very true. I yeah yeah. I got it. I'm visiting mom in May, and yeah, it's I'm already like, oh, what are the? And it's hard to pack. Yeah, for because you're in air conditioning the whole time. Well, that and I'm you're still freezing up here, you know. Yeah. And you gotta take your coat. <laughs> yeah. Because you gotta have it when you get back. Yeah. Uh, you know. So it's like you wanna pack your sweats and, you know, stuff. And and your mom's like, it's 90 degrees here. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> and then you get there and it's like, ah. Oh, you wanna say hi to. I don't know who that is. Umer. Umer, Umer the 345. Hello. I don't know if you're in the ch- in the listening or not. Yeah, because yeah. they're not in the audience. I will create an instant invite for them. There you go. But yeah, it's a um, <laughs> it's a uh, jungle one, and it's a, a whole new world. <gasps> a whole new. <laughs> yes, that yeah. song. I need that. I need a whole new world. It is. It's a whole, yeah. It's a whole new world, and um, but it was for my husband's birthday. I will get that. For you. <laughs> you can tell you've been married a long time, <laughs> honey. For well, your I asked birthday, him what he wanted for your for his birthday, he said nothing. So yeah, said, right. honey. So for your birthday, see. I got you the new Sims Four expansion <laughs> <laughs> that you don't play. Cause I love when it. is it coming out? No, today it's supposed to be. <gasps> what are we doing on the radio? I'm do you, I do the... I, do oh, you the... not think I'm I thought sorry, of that y'all. last night? <laughs> <laughs> I did not see it. I'm. S- oh, oh, I've watched yeah. the video like 18 times because they're bringing out a a new. Um, uh, do you have the video like on hand? Uh, are you kidding? Who are you asking? <laughs> No. Oh no! We gotta stop the show. I'm sorry. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta download this new game. <laughs> no. Is I, it a complete expansion or is it? It's not game? an expansion. It's the cheaper one. It's the. It's like the vampire pack. It, what are those? It, oh. So there's expansions, which and then it's it. So it's like the vampire one, whatever that level is. That's a, I don't know what that is either. But it's not the $10 one. So it's not the $50 one. It's not the $10 one. It's the one in the middle. Oh. And there's a whole um, another world that you can go to. And, uh, uh, yeah. So I was really excited. And I even looked, well, it's a good thing it wasn't on. Because I did look last night. 
to see if it was on sale yet, and and it wasn't. Or so, which was good because I would have like you know started playing and. I didn't even get the laundry one yet. Well, you know, quite honestly, the laundry one you'd like the the um, the what do you call it? The clothes and, and not necessarily the clothes, but it has some really cute stuff for houses. You know, it because it's more country. Yeah. So that you'd like. I mean, yeah. you would really like that. But I, they need a new. Uh, <laughs> In Antarctica with the igloo, ice fishing for days. Can you imagine <laughs> being stuck with it? No, I can't. Where would they go to the bathroom? Where do Eskimos go to the bathroom? <laughs> I, I don't like, think they go in the ice and just go to the <laughs> I'm not even commenting on that. <laughs> I never wondered before, but now that you've brought it up. <laughs> it's really... Oh, I just wanted to hear them. Oh, Ula. yeah, say your Ola. Ula. Is that how I said it? I never know. <laughs> Ula, people. <laughs> Ula. That <laughs> was, he said Ula. Up yours or something. Um. Like <laughs> and it's Ola. Ola. I used to drive my, I still drive my son nuts. Because that's the only Spanish word I know. So I'm like, hola. I know, mucho. But when I was yeah. down there, because we were there for so long, I did pick up, well, I could say Bogota correctly, like they did. And, um, well, I don't know. It's been a while now. Is that the name of the town? Or? Yeah, it's the name of a town. Okay. And, um, they're, well, it's the name of the biggest city. That's their capital. Which is has a bazillion people, literally. Wow. Well, not a bazillion, but you know, it's this is very populated. Yes, like you walk out on the road, and I wouldn't even drive. I would not even attempt to drive there, a car. <laughs> and that's saying a lot, because I I'm not afraid to drive. Um, a South America, a Colombia, the country. Um. Yeah, so that's where my son lives. Did I say that, like, totally backwards? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my son lives in uh, um, Tolima. Um, anyway, it's in Colombia, in the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. But, yes, we are discussing sim-related stuff. Sim related stuff. We got a new jungle coming out. Yeah. So did you, think of did South you America. Google that? Didn't no, I did not Google it. I'm sitting here spinning a cap on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to quit smoking and it's very hard, especially whenever you're sitting here doing nothing. Maybe if the I was the only Googling. way the only time I quit was when I just quit. And then I went insane for three days. And my husband thought he, he was just like... I can't even imagine. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, no. All right. Anyways, we got the jungle adventure. Yeah. That's, that's all about. Which do, is do, 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 very do, do. cool. I'm looking forward to it. I would like that. I like jungle. Does that mean they're going to give us, like, uh, well, outfits, like, on the Flintstones? That'd be awesome. No, no, no. <laughs> no that was give us wild animals. Oh, we have thank to... you, thank you, thank you. <gasps> there we go. Look, she's they're faster than me. Yeah. Here's the trailer. It, it's a really good. It's a really good uh, expansion. And then you're gonna. There's gonna be an archaeologist uh, uh, job. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, she's watching the video. It's a really cool video. <laughs> I and, love it already. Yes, and then they have uh, uh, Are they going to let us build that stuff with the, I, the I, bridge and everything? Well, I think the pyramid... Well, it's, it, it's a new land. 
So it's like the the vampire one, you know, where you got a new circle that you got to go to. How do I get one of those? Needs more Tomb Raider. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get what? Um, those little flowers by, I want a cherry blossom by my name. Oh, I don't know how they did that. I guess you I would put know. the semicolon and then cherry blossom thing uh, and then put the semicolon again. Oh, okay. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah. yeah that yeah. looks cool. Yeah, and it's out today. Oh. Yes. Now I gotta go get it. And Jesse's home at you. Oh. I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> This truck. So we went down to Florida, got this truck, right? Yeah. Which is, it, it's a really nice truck. I mean, the guy kept it nice, other than yeah. the carpet. Yeah. Who knows what happened on that carpet? I don't uh, know. Yuck. But <laughs> it's, it's it's actually, I mean, for us, it's nice. It's it's better than what we were driving, but it needs more work than what we were driving. So oh. he has changed almost everything, the whole front end. He had to do the whole front end, the steering, everything. And then now he went to work on Monday, and it blew a head gasket. Had to get it towed back. Oh. Now he's out there doing that. So Well, that's not good. Yeah, so I don't know about if I'm getting the Sims or not. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not going to ask. Just... No. <laughs> Part of being married is just keeping your mouth shut. Yes, it is a good part of being married. <laughs> and just doing your own thing sometimes, you know, without them knowing. And what they don't know doesn't hurt. And you know what? Then everybody's happy. And, um, yeah, happy life, happy marriage, happy wife. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, what? my gosh. What? Did you see that video? The lady on Valentine's Day took her husband's car to the the print detail shop and had her face put all <gasps> over his car. Oh said, my happy wife, happy life. And then, oh, it was so funny. It was like, honk if you love my wife. And then on the top, like it for said, real? Yeah. This guy <laughs> on the top, it said, this car is being tracked by my wife. It was just <sighs> so hilarious. And then there was an episode afterwards where he took her car and put his face all over it. She was just like, oh, no. But it was hilarious when she did it. You know what I mean? Well, I know, but did he really drive the car then? He had to. What was he going to do? It's his car. He got to go to work. <laughs> there is no way in heck my husband. Well, first, I, yeah, we, he probably divorced me for that one. There oh, he was so, he really, really, really wanted to say something, but he didn't. He was just like, oh. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was hilarious. I laughed so hard. Well, I'm going to have to see that video. Cause, it's uh, on my Facebook page. Oh, I'll I don't have know to if like... I can share Facebook links on here. No, I don't know. And then you would have to actually go to Facebook. Well, it was hilarious. It was uh, for Valentine's. Yeah, I'll have to go there. But, I mean, seriously, if, if I did that in real life to my husband, he'd... he'd... <gasps> I couldn't believe she did it. And yeah, it, it was so funny though. I laughed so hard. Oh God, that's hilarious. But I just—that's like divorce written all over for me. <laughs> and she had the baby's picture on it and everything. Oh, I was howling. Well, now I'm gonna have to log into Facebook and. and yeah, let me see if I'm gonna try to copy it and put it in there because this is everybody needs to see this. <laughs> I didn't get to um, to get the one that he did because I was on my phone and oh. I hit backspace and it went and then I'll never find it again. I would have to stalk somebody to find it on their page. But oh my gosh, that was so funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is just hilarious. Oh, I I can't I... even imagine. Uh, he literally, I, I if I'm gonna tell him that tonight, and I'll, I'll have my phone on, and you can hear the hear his reaction. I'll show, I'll let you listen to, it. because I know what it is. He'd be like, oh hell no. And she's like, you gotta keep this on for two weeks. He's like, I gotta have to get the car cover and cover it up. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't was like permanent. So 
No, I mean, it was one of those wrap things. You know, uh, like the uh, I mean, it would take uh, some effort. I don't know how you would peel them off. I'm sure it just doesn't, you know, come off real easy. No, no. But oh, then, okay. I thought you meant to really, really painted it, though. No, not painted on there. It was oh, just one of those decal, oh, like, decal oh. ones. Even that. Yeah. He'd be like, okay, take it off. Yeah, she's like, no, you have to drive around with it. No, he wouldn't. My husband would not. Would not. No way. And then in the video after that they show after with him getting back at her, they show him at the beginning driving down the road, and it says, honk if you love my wife. Yeah. And everybody's honking, and <laughs> she's just laughing and laughing. Uh, it's just so that's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, I really got to keep that up. Yeah. I'll have to watch it. I wonder if we're in. I, I want to go play that jungle game now, so we're just going to wrap this up. <laughs> I should have mentioned it till the end of the show. <laughs> you should know. That's like, <laughs> like Linda coming in with mods. Uh, yeah, mods. yeah. Oh, those mods are. Go on. Um, okay, I, I, I have to admit, I, I, I have downloaded more mods and, and changed more hairdos and more dresses and. It's it's just like it's like free shopping therapy. I, I mean, yeah. it, it's crazy. Do they have like um like outfits that are really really nice, or is it just normal outfits? No, they got really oh did like I... and you get blinged out and stuff like diamonds and um tiaras. I need a tiara. Didn't oh. yeah um. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, let me... Now, I'm looking again, so hold on. They don't have the princess pack yet. Oh, yeah, that you need. You do need that. Need that. You do need My that. My poor aunt started a legacy sim, and she'll be running around with her tear on her. Okay, here. This is... Didn't you see this one? With our new clothes? <gasps> wow. No, yeah. I didn't. I love your hair. Oh, my... I like my hair too. Yeah, I found Everybody. some better hairs. You got everybody got new hair. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at them boots. But yeah, it, I mean, you can just spend. The only thing I don't like is is that each piece of clothing or each lip color or each everything is a separate download. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then you that have to, and then you have to be careful because they don't all work. So I've been um, the, Linda from two weeks ago. I've been using her links to get me to the artists, and then marking the artists that I know work that their stuff works. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that, you gotta put them in one at a time and try it. Right, and you know how how I am with that. Yeah, it uh, takes 10 minutes for my game to load. Right. Yeah. Be, yeah. yeah, so... But I didn't like our... I didn't... I didn't On Brisby, I didn't like how her hair looked, so I went back and went shopping again for more hair and more dresses. Oh, and... pretty. What is... <laughs> <laughs> the world's best damn knee cartoon. That's old. My son used to watch that. <laughs> I like Amnes. Yeah. yeah. But Dragon Ball Z? Or whatever that is? He used to watch that cartoon was on on Saturday morning. We'll be right back on MSP Waves. And we are back. Welcome back to the Sim Your Life show. I am Sim Girl here with Snook. And we are on the MSP Waves radio, part of the Mano Support Project here on Steamit.com. Yes! Yay! We are here. We are here, and we're talking about the Sims 4 game and how to sim your life. And uh, our challenge this week was to... What was our challenge? <laughs> Marriage. I had a hard time figuring out a challenge for this one, so I put it so that... Uh, if you would like to sim your life, your challenge this week is to help your spouse fulfill their desires by giving them time or resources to do it. For example, if your spouse wants to learn to play the guitar, be sure they own a guitar and then allow them the time to practice. 
<laughs> well, your husband, he likes to go hunting, right? Well, yeah. Actually, my husband, yeah. But he's, he, his, um, he works a lot, and then he likes to go work out. So he gets that every, I mean, that's kind of his present every day. You know what I mean? What, that you let him go out? To work out. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds funny, but, I mean, then he doesn't get home till 9 o'clock. So if I actually w could work, I would never see him. Which could be good for your marriage or not. <laughs> Well, the Sims, when they get um, too much work or they do too much stuff, they get their um, friendship level goes down. Yeah. Have mm -hmm. you ever had a Sim where they didn't get along when they were married? <laughs> um, You know, it's funny because I did. I did. Because I didn't, I, it, I think it was like the start of the second generation that I did. And I just married them and started them having kids right away. But I didn't have them interact because I by then I had so many, you know. Mm -hmm. So they, I never actually got their friendship level up, and it was actually funny because they acted very different until the end when they got older, and uh, and then and then I had them interact more, and then they would interact themselves a little bit, and. Uh, but it wasn't the same as the first two Sims that I had that were married alone, you know, that they spent X amount of time alone. Because those yeah. Sims, uh, at the end, when they were, like, both in their hundreds, um, they would walk up to each other and, you know, and and just start uh, singing to each other and kissing and, and, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff if you left them alone and run yeah. into the bush and have woohoo. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. So that then, is a new thing they added was that bush. Yeah, and then the, by the th so by the third one, then I had them become friends right away. You know, when they got married, and uh, and 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 they were very different Sims because she was the the third one was the um, scientist, and um, and he was um, a, a gardener. So their personalities did not mix at all, but um. but by the end they were um, they were just as close as the first ones I had, because I had them as friends. I made sure I had their friend level up all the time. You know, I kept checking yeah. on it. So it was interesting. Uh, I thought how that how that worked. You know. Yeah, I've had. Oh, no, I haven't done it too much in Sims Four. But in Sims 3 and the earlier versions, it was harder for them to get along. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. Well, you, you let your Sims out of the house more than I do. <laughs> I do. I mean. Yeah. Well, I was real... Um, I don't do it a lot now. Like, I don't do dating. I don't, I don't do the whole marriage thing. It's just... I would rather have one Sim to worry about. Oh... Uh. So I used to do that a lot, you know, and I always had a family, and it was like, as soon as you start having kids, you don't have time. I mean, it's like real life. Like it this. is. It is like you, real life. You don't life. have no. time to, yeah, build your skills. You don't have time to get your promotions. You don't no. have any money, you know, because no. you're spending it all on the kids. So. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, yeah, I just, I haven't had real, a lot of experience this Sims 4 with the whole marriage thing, except for my legacy. And like you said, I made the dude, and yeah. I put it the connection before they got together, so they already had their friendship and romance bars filled when I got them. Well, actually, the friendship, if you make them, it's only halfway when you, mm -hmm. when you make them. Yeah, so, well, at least they know each other, kind of, I guess. Right. Like, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll woohoo right away, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's about it. I think she was pregnant the first day. Well, here you are. You're married. Now you're... <laughs> I need a kid, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad that the legacy that I picked didn't have to have a boy. I can't believe I had six girls. Yeah. If I wanted to have girls, they would be all boys. Well, that's yeah. what I had. <laughs> I had all boys. They kept having... And, then, then they, and that's why I ended up with so many darn kids. Because 
I kept trying for a girl. Yeah. And uh, so that's why I have a gazillion uh, guy sims all over the place. <laughs> and I kept having to kick them out of the house so that they could get pregnant again. <laughs> Yeah, you can only have eight Sims in the spare. Yeah, which is a lot to take it care of. A lot. It is, especially, like, when the girls got into their teenage years, uh, it was really hard. Yeah. Because they actually made it a little more realistic, and they gave the teenagers mood swings. Yes. And they'll go through phases. And yeah. I agree. It was pretty interesting. Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> just go to the bathroom. <laughs> the kid, the one kid would not take a bath. Yeah. She refused to take a bath. <laughs> I know. It's like, my one great And yeah, that's so funny. But whenever I get the Sims, when I'm dating, when I have them dating, it's like they have after work dates. You know, they don't really go out on outings or anything. They just kind of come over for dinner, uh... <laughs> you know, watch TV and stuff like that. That way they get along a little better before I start going out on a date. Because if you go out on a date and it's bad, yeah. it's kind of like eh. See, I don't even take them on dates. I just... You know, take them on dates. <laughs> See, the, the thing I about the Sims a... is, <laughs> you I can just... just make them marry them. You don't have well, to Well, yeah, that. they just get... Well, they, I, they're friends. Well, I guess I take them to the park. But I have them fishing at the park, talking to each other. <laughs> They have fish dates. Yeah. They go Which fish. is not a bad thing. I mean. No, because they're doing something. Making yeah. money, at least. They're having fun. And... Yeah. And, and if you get them fishing first, or what is it? If you get them talking first, and then you tell them to fish, then they'll talk the whole time that they're fishing. Which yeah, is Yeah, nice. the Sims 4 is different when, like, I used to be able to just put them in the same room and they would start talking. And now they don't. No, they really don't. Which throws my theory out of, because I was like, yeah, if you just sit in the same room as somebody, you can talk to them. Well, yeah. there is a... They just sit there in silence and eat their meal. No, like, they, my, I'll just grab their phones, which is <laughs> funny, because in real life, that's real life. what people that's do. That's really what they do now, I guess. Yeah. 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 So... I'm uh, never on my phone. Uh, no, I'm not no. either. I guess because I have a PC. It's different now because people don't even have a home phone anymore. Right. Right. They just have their cell phone. So. I don't know how it. people go and steam it with just their cell phone. Yeah. And I, I know people that, that do. But I don't know how you post an article that way. I don't know either. And I guess we had one of those like Blackberries with the keyboard on it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm too old to learn. I'm too old, too. <laughs> I like my big screen. <laughs> I just see. I know, it's funny because I have my PC, I have a tablet, and I have a phone. So if my computer goes down, I'm like, I don't know what to do. And it's yeah. like I completely forget that I have other access yeah. to the internet <laughs> because I don't use them. No. No, and when I go down to my mom's, I use my tablet. But it's just... Uh, they're convenient, but yeah, not but, the same. But they're small. Yeah. And that whole yeah, swiping that whole thing. <laughs> the whole swiping thing. And you touch something, and I don't know, I can't get back to where I was, and click on something. Anyway, that's what happened. Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, after you have our show. two tablets, a smartphone, and a laptop. Really. Which one wow. do you use the most, T3? My laptop's really old, and it's very heavy. Uh, mine like is, I, yeah, mine is heavy. I don't even want to take it anywhere because it's too heavy. No. that Well, that's why I got, because I go down by my mom's now, more after my dad died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like the, the PC. The tablet. Oh. I like the tablet too. I really liked it. I got it for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. And I, I use that thing a lot. I like to play my games on it. Do you? Mm hmm. I played that one where you find the things in the room, you have to find the objects. Oh. Yeah, I don't like those, that game. That, um, 
I'm not good at it. I have to use all the hints. Why are you telling that? I don't think Umar realizes we are on the radio. I, I don't know. We are on the radio. Well, or they do, and they just really don't care. Well, a lot of new people come into the uh, right. the audience right. room, and they don't know. <laughs> just let them know. We are talking to you through the waves. <laughs> yeah. The MSP waves radio. And after our show, Whip Girl's coming on with Woo-hoo. her hacking mental performance with Whip Girl. And then we have the music and money show with the scaredy cat guide and then we have uh bucky Dirtle and dog Han. i found out his name his name's dog Han. and they have a show <laughs> afterwards and they did you get a chance to check out their show yet no no because they you, are st- i know because you told me about it and then you even reminded me and um you have to do it. You I, will love them. I don't remember what happened. They're just so much fun. And they sit there and make spontaneous uh, songs <laughs> about people's names. <laughs> oh. That was, see, and I, what was I doing? I don't remember. But, uh, see, I think they were on right when my husband came home. From yeah, they're on right at 5 o'clock. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 4 o'clock your time. But. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I miss the evening shows, but we do have radio shows on most every night. And Wednesday night, we have the interview show with Main Event. And I know Global Cop is Thursday, I think. I'm not sure. But Whip Girl's on again Thursday. And Unawisp moved hers to Friday, so she's on at Friday at 3. And then we have Crimson Clad has the metal show on Thursdays. <laughs> we have tons of shows and there's tons of shows coming up and then we do pirate radio at night. I don't get off of the MSP waves radio very often. No, you're <laughs> always on it. I see somebody up there and in the MSP waves thing and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. I need to go find out what they're talking about. <laughs> but that's good. I mean, you know, it really is. It is. And then you get to know people a little better. Right. Right, I doubt. Like yeah. that, Ron Don. He's he's a freak. We know now. Yeah, <laughs> I I've been trying to. Uh, well, you know, I joined um, a group, and so I've been trying to be more. How do you like that so far? Because you haven't joined a group. This is your first group, right? Right. That I act. Yeah. That I. <laughs> Yeah. You're actively participating. That I'm actively participating. I really like it. I, I really like it. <laughs> I, I Well, it's something that I, I believe in in family, you know. And it's small enough that for me, I, um, I don't feel lost, I guess, is what it amounts to. And uh, so I, I'm really liking being the, the alliance uh uh-huh. What's the alliance about? Because like I, I've it's never... really about family it, it, um, and supporting yeah. each other. Um, it's really what it amounts to. Which sounds, uh, I mean, it's not like I have to go out and read, you know, everybody's post and upvote it or whatever. But it's it's uh, supporting each other. So uh, in a family atmosphere. For me, we'll be right back. <laughs> So, um, which is, uh, uh, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm here to meet people. You know what I mean? And they don't have uh, rules that I can't follow. And yeah, <laughs> you know, stuff like it, that. It gets a little overwhelming whenever I join a bunch of groups that want me to be active, um, posting and upvoting. And especially, I don't have my slider yet. So I did have a slider for a little bit when yeah, I had delegated. You lost your... Yeah, my SP ran out, so yeah. now I'm back to not having a slider. And I really didn't notice how much I liked my slider until it was gone again. And then I'm like, oh. yes, because I'm down to like 70 percent SP. I'm like, oh, yes, it's gonna take a while. Yes, and then you gotta wait for it to refuel. Yes, 
It's horrible. So, I feel bad though, and then I'm like, all these people are gonna think that I'm like ignoring them because I would normally, you know, upvote every comment, up, you know, upvote people's posts, and all that. There's a lot of people that um, had delegations from somebody that um, they pulled back for whatever reason. I I, I don't want to get into that, but anyway, so they lost their dele. A lot of people in the past week and a half lost their delegation, and a lot of people that I know are are being um, having to realize you know it's hard when you're used to voting however you're used to voting to all of a sudden have to change and then your vote isn't worth as much and you're apologizing to people and yeah and I'm like you know a comment to me is worth an upvote <laughs> you know I mean yeah the money is great but you know, you could have all the upvotes you want, but if nobody reads it, reads it yeah. uh, you feel kind of, I don't know. Ignored. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but did you, did you laugh? Yeah. Did you read my story? <laughs> I feel bad when I don't have, like, anything extraordinary to say. Like, I really enjoyed reading it, but, I mean, I just don't have any additional comments <laughs> well yeah and that's where I uh, I, I if you, well if you read my post I always say that I'm bad at comments because I'll say oh I love it and, and that means I really do love it but that's all I got at the time <laughs> you know what I mean I mind thanks for sharing yeah yeah thanks for sharing. but I mean I really like it otherwise I wouldn't put it but Comments are hard. Let's see. How about everybody in the audience? What do you do with comments on Steam? It. Do you make sure that you have a whole paragraph, or do you comment just a few words, or do you not comment if you don't have anything to say, or do you just make stuff up, or how do you comment? <laughs> we have so many people in the audience. Who do we all got? We got, we have, I don't know who that is. Activist blog, we have Breeze. We have Easy, Easy Breezy. We have Global Cop, Cubby Elizabeth, Minnow, Qtex, Rondon, T3, and I know Whip Girl's out there somewhere. She's listening. So Whip Girl says she sucks. <laughs> I don't comment at all. T3, I don't comment at all. <laughs> Less is more. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. I, I try to do the, I reply to all the comments first, and then I go out and read. I try to comment on all the things I receive. Yeah. 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 It gets hard. I mean, you only have so much, and... I don't I have more free time than most and I you have to kind of be in the right mood to comment on stuff too on top of it <laughs> I do well I, I don't like that I can't vote it just really bothers me and then I go it, to comment yes. and it's like they see me comment but I didn't vote like right well it's just enough for me to say something but not enough to like give you three cent you know well, but do, do you remember when I was so close to the slider before yeah. I had it and I was getting so irate, I guess would be the nice way of putting it? Because, uh, yeah. And then I would see comments from people be like, wow, somebody commented on my thing, but they didn't vote for me. And I'm like, well, I got 10 votes. <laughs> That's all I got. I know, we have Sims to take care of, for crying out loud. I know! Yeah, what we need to do is get, like, a simulated voter, and then comments. I mean, they have the upvote thing where they'll go and automatically upvote, but we need, like, an automatic comment. No. Like, wow, I can't believe that, that That's, those words come yeah. out of your brain. Like, right, you except most... it'd be like, yeah, my mom died last week. Yeah, <laughs> and then you're like, like, wow! <laughs> That's awesome. No. Great blog. Yeah, you're right. This could go really bad. Yeah, no, I see way in that. I don't think that would work. I think that would be very bad. 
Agdebusid. He also tries to grow, show gratitude in comments because words of affirmation are important. Which reminds me, thank you for the show. Well, thank you for being here, Agdebusid. Yeah. Auto comment. Vote for vote, please. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, I, I, I ignore those. <laughs> <laughs> I totally ignore those. No, we need like a. You are a good, good person that inspires joy, joy feelings in those around you. <laughs> follow me, I follow you. <laughs> LL Farms is here. Hello. You know. How am I supposed to follow you if you're following me? That don't make. Look I at... didn't mean to give you a pot leaf. <laughs> I just can't remember. <laughs> here, we'll give you some pizza. There you go. <laughs> I saved those emu shows for the nighttime shows. Uh, I, I again. I still don't know how to use emotes. I'm 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 still in the learning stages in that. <laughs> have you ever met LL Farms? No. L and L Farms. I have. Not. L and L Farms. This is my friend Snook. Hi. Snook. This is L and L Farms. She's awesome. <laughs> She's the one that I told you that she makes her own perfume and her oh, own soap. Yeah. Yeah. She moved out into the middle of nowhere and just started a farm. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I tried. I tried. I mean, I had to make sure I had a paved road. I couldn't do the dirt roads. I'm sorry. I couldn't even believe they still had dirt roads. <laughs> Let alone live on one. Mm. So I had to make sure I had a paved road. Yeah. yeah. I don't it's know very important I when we bought our land. There's um, a free writer, Freedom Freedom to Write. Her and her husband, her and her husband are uh, homesteaders. They're the nicest. They're the cutest couple. If you read either one of their blogs, they are so in love and so cute. And uh, but uh, they they do homesteading, and they started by living in a tent. Oh, that's some legacy. Talk about legacy there. challenge. They're living it. They really are. And um, now they have a little house. And she just got a kitchen sink. And oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're living the legacy challenge. Literally. Yeah. That's why sometimes I feel like we were a legacy challenge. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But we got, we got it to the point where, I mean, we got a triple wide now. So. Triple? You got another <laughs> yeah, one? Yeah, I have a triple wide. No, I, have a, I had a single wide. And then my husband brought home a double wide. Uh, put the double wide up against a single uh, wide. And put a roof okay. All right. So we have a single wide. I mean, we have a triple. <laughs> <laughs> we have a triple wide. But what we really have is a single wide trailer with a double wide storage. Do you, LL Farm, do you know the Freedom freedom to Write and Freedom? I, I like both, uh, both of them. But it's Freedom. They are, uh, and they're the cutest things. And he makes, um, he made this leather band out of, uh, 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 well, real leather. And then he tooled it in that. And then I went whining on his wall. Yeah. And I went whining on, on his post about that I wanted one. <laughs> Did you get one? Well, he only made one for himself. It was like a... Oh, uh, I see how it is. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. And uh, and then he well, said... you posted it if you don't have enough to share. Well, anyway. Yeah. So then he goes... He's, he, I think because everybody was like really excited about him. That, um, that I think he's going to make some more. So he said, well, hold on. Yeah. I said, well, let me know. I'll send you my, my picture of my wrist. <laughs> But they, they literally are living the legacy life. They started in a tent, and, um, yeah, I, I don't know how they do it. And, wow. and they are the cutest, so in love couple that it's just, it's just, oh. yeah, it's heartwarming to see that there's, you know, young people out there that are, you know, living how they want and, and doing it. And he's very spiritual. You'd really like his, uh, uh, he does uh, video blogs. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. and there and there, he's a great speaker, a motivating, you know. But he's like down to earth um, when he when he talks. Hmm. Um, so 
So, yeah, if you're ever having a bad day, go listen to one of his videos. That'll brighten your... It gives you something. Yeah. What we need is like a girl's uh, pirate show at the end at, at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> talking about they could have a pirate booty. You get can... all the girls Crim in one station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, here comes Pep to you. There's a lot of people in here. I know. Hello, all the new people that are just tuning in. Hello. Hello. All right. Pirate. Are we pirate. ready? We haven't done a pirate yet. No. We haven't done a pirate radio. We should do a pirate radio. I, what is a pirate radio? You have to explain it to me first. <laughs> but, and pirate radio, you have to get dressed up like a pirate, and then you get a parrot. You put the parrot on your shoulder, and then the parrot talks the whole time. Uh huh. <laughs> and, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's whenever um, DJs like us who have a show go on when they don't have a show, and they just start talking or playing music. Oh, making fun of everybody. Oh, well, I could do that. Yeah, we could. Do that. But see, the only thing is that at nighttime it's very hard here because it's very loud. Oh, by your house? Yeah, mine too. Yeah, so we'd have to do like a pirate radio show in the mornings or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Like waking up to Snook and Sim Girl pirate radio. Uh, yeah. Well, we could do it at like 2 in the morning. That and then we'll work. play all old music and put you back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually found some really good music this week, didn't I? Did you did. I love the music you found this week. <laughs> I was doing it this morning. I'm like, and, and it is so hard to go through songs because she's like, like, no, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I want. Oh, you're swearing too much. I can't be cursing at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, no, that's really good. <laughs> Speaking of it, do we want to play another song? You can play another song. That would be great. How many songs we got left? Um, I don't know. With two? I think we have two. Um, yeah, because I think... What did I do here? Nice level up, Ray. All right. Congratulations. I'm going to play this one. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Sim Your Life show here on MSB Waves Radio. You made really a happy, dancey sound list. Wasn't today. it? Yes. <laughs> we should do that more often. <laughs> yeah. I, I really have to look because I didn't listen to the radio. I lost, I listened to a lot of um, DV, or CDs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't really listening and I had to really dig to find those. Those are really, uh, all of them are happy. They make me smile, really which is good. Yeah. yeah, I thought we need something upbeat. You we know? did. And actually, we really did this morning. <laughs> We did. <laughs> or I did, anyway. <laughs> it's the end of February. We're ending another month. Can you believe it? 2018. No. no. I don't. I and But I know what getting... I'm doing after the show's done, though. <laughs> What's that? Going back to bed? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> I wish. No. No. No, I'm getting the new ex whatever thingy. A new whatever. I've been saving my ah. pay, my my Steam at PayPal money. Yeah. Because it was coming out. So yeah. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Sorry, I uh, put, the put soda your cream out. cheese on the router. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Don't take that advice, Krim, please. The show have the internet guys up there getting in any trouble. All right, you're gonna have to keep talking. I gotta keep talking because Snook is on the phone because she didn't tell all her friends that she's on the radio show. And it's probably a telemarketer. <laughs> is anybody here in the audience play The Sims? Sims 4? Sims anything? We have so many people. Hello, all you new people who have just joined us. About The Sims 4, which is a game on the computer where we play a simulated person. And we make their houses, and we dress them up, and we give them names, and we make 
pictures of our friends on Steemit and we make them Sims on Steemit so that they can be cool like us. And let's see what else. Has everybody seen Minnow's thing? Let me see if I can find it again. We made a sim of Menno, and he said he's a ninja, so we put him in a ninja outfit. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Sorry. Welcome back! We missed you. <laughs> it's hard when you're all by yourself. You're like, uh... It's hard when you're all by yourself. It is. I was talking about Menno's new uh, sim here. Yes. And 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 the reason why he has a little tiny dog is my fault because when I was a kid growing up, I had a lasso Apsu that was black, just like that. And that was the one that they, you know, I clicked on dog, and that was the one that they, you know, gave you. And I could have changed it, but I didn't because it 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 looked exactly like the dog I had. So. I'm sorry, Minnow, you ended up with a little lasso apso dog. <laughs> <laughs> Cortex said that they played Sims 1, 2, and 3. Oh, Minnow okay. says he used to play back in the back when. <laughs> Activist says he plays Clash of Clans. And Bree says that her daughter. There's a um, coffee. Uh, his name is, it's like C O E E, whatever. Three, three, whatever. Anyway, coffee. Um, his son, because of the post, started playing Sims Four. That's awesome. Yeah, and they had. Yeah. Um, I was just looking. They have the base game with dogs and cats for on sale for twenty nine dollars. Wow. Yeah. Makes me wish you would have waited. Yeah, it does. Make they me always do that. I know. They're like, look, you just bought three games. How about we give you all these ones for 25% off? Well, yeah, like, exactly. I just bought three of them. <laughs> Can you give me the 25% I just off play M MSP waves. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. LL, L and L Farms. You should put a little and in there because I forget the L. Um, she has leveled up to level 25, and I think she's only been here a so she has been seriously hanging out on the MSP. I think she like passed me up. I've been here for like three months. Sims 4 or WoW. That's a hard decision. That is a hard decision. Uh, yes. My WoW, I have to update it and put the mods back in, and I can't heal without my mods, so I can't play if I can't heal. So yeah. I think it depends, depends on, on what kind of mood you're in. For How do you level up? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, for WoW. I mean, because WoW now is, yeah. I mean, it's all uh, questing. There is no, MB well, I mean, you can stop, but I mean, really. Did you see the trailer for the new world? I used it for that video, remember? Yes, I did. It is such, it's going to be nice. It's going to be cool. Yeah, I did. I'm always there for the first. Whenever we get the first expansion, I am playing. I level my tune to whatever level they want. I get all my my skills maxed out. And then once they start adding and adding and adding, and you have to do dailies and all that, I yeah, that's, that's yeah. where I end it. And then I'll be like, I'll wait for the next expansion. <laughs> um, it's based on how much you talk, um, where, how you level up in the uh, chat. Yeah. Yeah, so the more you chat, the more you level I think, up. I think you get extra points for being sarcastic, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I, we were going to make a... I did find in the mods that you can. I can add... Um, I'm answering the, is there a good horde sim? I, I did find some mods where I can add horns to a sim. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So with the mods, uh, it, depending on what artist you find that that makes the stuff, you you could be just about anything. I don't know if you could be a Torin though, because the feet would be kind of hard. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want cows running around with them. No. You know? No. 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 But you could, with the mods, you can make just about anything. 
<laughs> he said, I love the fact this radio show features two women of WoW. <laughs> oh, did he? Got it. Yeah, well, how do you think we got here? Yeah. <laughs> we are open for be betas. And we played uh, Rift, too. We played Rift, too, yeah, but... We played World of Warcraft. I played World of Warcraft since the BC. Yeah, you've played that forever. Yeah, which I don't even remember what BC stands for now. Do you? Well, I would, but <laughs> not today. Burning Crusade. Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> it took me a second. That's what my husband's like. You need to tell me where this boss is in, in a dungeon that we played five years ago. And I'm thinking, uh, um, yeah, I might have to Google because I don't remember. No, no. It's an interesting mod. There is. I, I was looking again last night because I didn't like one of the dresses that uh, one of the girls had on. And so I went to go look for clothes. And I mean, you could spend hours looking through all that stuff. That's why I just let you do it. Yeah. And you just send me the ones that you like. Yeah, she does. It's really funny. <laughs> and it, she calls, what is it? Your well, I didn't know if I needed to go back and do all that if you're already doing it, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> God forbid you find something. <laughs> well, I'll go do the jungle thing and then we'll <laughs> see if we can make some animals. I'm so excited about this. I don't, I don't know how I missed the announcement. I don't know. It's been on the page for like three weeks. I don't. I haven't. Well, you haven't really. Yeah, you've been all over the place. I don't know what my problem is. I really don't. <laughs> well, we like um, for Sims 2, mostly fictional urban models came up with a lore for them in Simlish as well. Yeah, I, I like making, um, well, I like building houses, quite honestly. That's my favorite part. But uh, there's a lot of, um, I've been using them for storytelling quite a bit. I'll make a sim and then I'll make a house and then write a story to go with them. And the mods mm -hmm. really open that up a lot more too because they're more personalized looking and stuff. Ooh. Yeah. So I have a few stories that um, are, I mean, it's a house build, but then um, I made, I actually have a story that goes with each sim. Uh, yeah. And that, and it just makes it, it gives you, well, because I can't draw, you know, so yeah, it's the pictures that yeah. go with them. And you don't have to worry about copyrights or anything, as far as we know. Well, because the well, Sims oh, is all over the place. Well, really. you're actually advertising the Sims technically. I think so. so. I don't think they're going to yeah. complain that we're using them in a story. I mean, considering what's on the internet right now with the Sims, oh, what yeah. they do to the Sims is just there should be a law. Well, the yeah, Sims. there's that whole yeah. <laughs> a lot of and you, that's when you look at the mods, you go oh. <laughs> Yeah, like I don't even want to know the dark sim world. Right. <laughs> yes, and that's what it is. So you have to, like, really. I mean, you, you could really make that dungeon, I bet. Yes, you could. Oh my god. Yes, very easily. Yeah, people requesting a sex dungeon in the old Steamian home. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and I haven't even got. I haven't even looked at the building mods because I don't even want to go there. Oh my god. No, okay. I'm not even going to go there. The dark... Oh, have you? You went to the dark side of the Sims? I don't go to the dark side. No. I'm just, like, better off not knowing what's going yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, I'll dress mine. You know. Yeah. Not... You might as well go to IMVU. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dress mine a certain way. Probably not. But... I, I, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for them to integrate it so that we can play our Sims together. Like, I can come over to your house. That and would hang be out really cool. You. Oh, did yeah. I tell you I read a, I saw an article uh, um, about they're going to try to make a place where you can go meet other Sims. Ooh. Like a real life place? No. Because like, I don't want to meet real people. <laughs> No, God forbid I, you'd meet real people. Um, on my walk yesterday, I met um, some guy that lived 
here his he was like grandpa taking his little granddaughter out for a walk. And I sat and talked to him for like thirty minutes. It was nice. Anyway. Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, because you started your video out and I was thinking, well maybe she had an interview or something. No, I ended up that's why I said it. Because we both left with a smile and anyway, it was it was nice, you know. And his granddaughter's like going through the mud and <laughs> I'm like, yeah, your wife's going to be really thrilled about that. <laughs> but, um, I like the Sims in Minecraft. Yeah. Well, I like the building. I, I really like the building. Uh, but, um, I love I was asking about his Sim. No, we, your Sim's fine. He's sitting there watching TV in the bedroom. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where he was every time I tried to find I got all kinds of people. I've never played Minecraft. I, I heard it was I, addictive. It is. I, yeah, I heard it. It is seemed to. Um, the graphics are are the, graphics, the old. Yeah, yeah, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, it, it's not high quality graphics. So it's kind of like the beef. <laughs> we don't want any. The good old days of oh, the movie. Oh, you were lives. seeing that's, uh, that, yeah, him and Krimi. Yeah, that's the yeah. second person. Crimson Plaid said she would do that too. Yeah, I saw. I, I, I guess I don't have that in me. I was I like, here, either. get a job, and here's some money, and here's some clothes, and here's some stuff, and yeah, I never thought of being no, mean. To you. No, I guess there's gonna be like a world you can go to. That I I know no, Crimson would take good care of her Sims now if she had Sims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was nice back then. Whenever I mean, I like that they have the internet now, but you could play the Sims before without the internet. And now they want to like update your game, and they want to control it and take your stuff and put it in the library. And I'm like, you, you can have be too honest. much power over my game right now. I think. Well, it's like any game, though. They're trying to make it so that, um... Yeah, she likes making mansions. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I spend more time building stuff than anything else. Except for now, I've been shopping for hair and... <laughs> and, 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 uh... No cut dresses. Because I'm kind of bored. And the cats and dogs did not thrill me as as much as I thought it would. Um, I, I mean, it was cute, but it's it wasn't all that. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah. Then you have to feed them. So then it's just better off you just start a new game and then go to... go on and ma and build another house. <laughs> yeah, and you could just sit there and build houses and put them in the gallery. And then you, if you buy if you make one that's so nice, the actual people, the developers like it. Yeah, Did but you I noticed that. Yeah, but I found out that they have to. You have to use like the base game for them to like it, or something like that. I guess if you, I mean, not the base game, but uh, so that other people they do the ones that are all. I thought it was the base game, so that anybody can download them. Oh yeah. So that's why. Well, when I get your house, if I don't have the same expansion packs, it just replaces the stuff. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I had some bald sims the other day, though. Putting babies in dishwasher. Yeah. What? <laughs> they said that they remembered the good old, not-so-old days of turning move objects on in the cheat menu and putting babies in the dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, I don't. I didn't use very many cheats. I just normally use the money cheat. Oh, I did figure it. out my my houses nowadays. Like the last one I did, um, looked better. <laughs> Was because I found the BB move objects cheat. Oh. So and that lets you put things anywhere. You know, like, like when you. Like when you you know, you like don't bases on a table that don't want to go on a table. Right, exactly. Yes, and you can put stuff right next to each other, and you can well, you can put stuff halfway through a wall if you want. But yeah, yeah, 
and and that's fine. So instead of having like just one picture on a wall, you can put two pictures right next to each other. But then you have to make sure you go through the house. If if I put it up on the gallery, you have to make sure I take a sim through it and make sure that um, that uh, they can, you know, uh, what do you call it? They can get through all the doors and stuff. Oh, yeah. Because I don't want to put something in the gallery and then not have it work. For somebody, I mean that's that's like mean. Here's a really cool house, but oh, oh, you can't use any of it. So, I haven't. I put some of mine in there. I just don't really think that mine are nice enough. Because when you go in the gallery and they got these houses that are spectacular, and it's like I just here's my box with some windows. <laughs> Would you like it? I have one that <laughs> like thir thirteen people have downloaded. I download a lot of your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I got two sets of us in the town now. Yeah. Yeah. Like twins. Twin family households. That's just funny. I really like that one house that you built. It was a starter home. And it was, well, no, it wasn't a starter home. It was like a little cottage. Oh. That's what I have them in now. I'm like, this is so pretty. Does it? Is that the one with the shed? No, it's uh, it's got that the old cottage brick thing on the front. Oh, and, okay. and it had real old furniture in it, like uh, antique furniture. It was really pretty. Yeah, I like. I I really uh, building in there is it's been fun. Oh it, wow! He says if you have SimCity four, you can import your Sims one characters into it, so that you can populate your city with your Sim characters. Oh, that's wow. awesome. I do have the SimCity, but I didn't. I don't know if it's four or not. It just says SimCity. I don't know. I don't play but that. SimCity's fun. Have you ever played it? No. No. Uh, I have think I the have roads a down. free copy of it. But... Yeah, the old one. Yeah. 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 They got actually better at it, but it's still the same. You gotta put the roads down and then you resident, like, section off residential industrial commerce and yeah I get bored they kind that. of go up yeah I got bored too <laughs> <laughs> it... oh there it is oh I didn't see that oh that's to... cool see if I can do that yeah yeah that's cool it is that looks like a cool game too it's amazing yeah it's really cool they have um cities like you can build a a tower and it's got its own city in there. You can work uh, there, you can shop there, and you can live there all in one building. Like they don't have to leave. Well, it costs like millions of dollars, so you have to have your city yeah. built up. Pretty, pretty I always, you know. when I do stuff like that, though, I always put the roads down, and then uh, and then they're not in the right place, and then I put a house, and then I gotta demolish it all and start over, or you don't, and then nothing ever yeah. ends up. And, I, get I know. I always think that I have a and... better plan. And yeah. Start a new yeah. city. Yeah. That's all I do is start cities. So that's why I, I don't. I because I just get frustrated. It's the same in The Sims when you just start new Sims. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Where did I make this week? I made. I don't remember if I made a sim this week or not. I don't think I did. No, I was you were make L and L farms. You were uh, playing the uh, us taking pictures. Yeah. Yeah, Take a making picture. our eyes. They kind of look like vampire eyes. They're like glittery. Yeah, but they're so pretty. I can't believe you found all. The... Well, luckily for Linda, if it wasn't for Linda last what, two weeks ago that sent me those links, I I wouldn't have I would have got to that site and probably downloaded one or two things and then left because it was it's that site is really there's. There's so much, and and by different quality artists, you know. Yeah. So you can tell the difference too. Oh yeah, way different, way different. I mean, and some of the hair will look nice, but it doesn't, it, you know, like move with them. And other ones, uh, and most of my Sims, I have to when I put the long hair on, I have to make their boobs smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for the long hair, which is, it cracks me up. 
<clears throat> I didn't realize my sims were so busty, but I guess I do make them very busty. <laughs> you do make them very busty. It's hard to find a shirt that fits them. <laughs> Here's a picture again of our new mods. Yeah, our new so hair. If, you, if you've seen the old one, you can probably tell the difference because they're see their eyes are all glowy and glittery oh, and their yeah. lips are all shiny and their hair is all thin like real hair uh, like real hair yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's it, so weird that you change their hair it changes their whole look it does well and then the real eyebrows too are real looking yeah eyebrows. i did add eyebrows too yeah that makes a difference too yeah and the eyelashes mm -hmm. the eyelashes too yeah but even you if were... all you do is put new hair on them and leave the rest, because that was the first thing I did. I just did one first, and it was, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it has crimson clad. <laughs> but it's with the mods. That's it, The mods are what makes them look like that for the yeah. hair. The hair makes a 100% difference. And, and really, technically, you could just do hair, you know. <laughs> as the only mod that you do find a hairdo that you like and stick it on all your sims yeah it makes such a difference and that's what I was wondering because I would look up the sims the images on google and they would come up with these sims I'm like that's not a sim right exactly exactly and uh, and the people that <laughs> and the people that do um, like the stories on, on youtube and stuff of the sims yeah. Um. It, like they're uh, the they stream and all that. Uh, that's all. A lot of them are mods, because that's how they get them to look like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Well, they look better sometimes. Sometimes they just look real fake. Well, yeah. Barbie dolls or something. Yeah. Yeah. I still try to have ours look, you know, kind of normal. <laughs> but we're all buff, which is great. I know, you make them so buff. I don't think of that stuff. I'm yeah. just like, well, you look cute. You're good. <laughs> See, I wouldn't play an ant farm. I, th I don't know. An ant colony might be fun. It might. It might be fun. But I would I see know. it in the store and I'd go, mm. <laughs> Maybe for a kid or something. Yeah. <laughs> totally legit Sims 5 leaked footage. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to do like they took our cars away we used to be able to I love cars. Spore I love Spore yes she is loving the Spore but oh. we haven't actually played it yet no I, I just make him where's my Carl video <laughs> uh, uh, where's my Carl video Carl video oh, my... she has this um, it's, it's a corn on the cob dancing <laughs> It's so funny. He's so cute. You just like oh, half wait. smile oh, because sorry. he's so cute. He is. He is. He's he a is. dancing ear of corn. He is. See, yeah, they took our cars away. They took our driveways away. I was making like garages and they took all that stuff away. That's my yeah. spore. My... Everybody, go ahead and click on the spear, uh, the spore thing. That's my <laughs> Carl, the mighty Carl, by the way. The mighty Carl. Yeah. Yes. He's so cute. And you know why I ended up getting that game? Was because I was waiting for uh, Sims 4 to do its update, which was a really big one. And uh, <laughs> so I ended up... Um, I ended up buying buying the... Uh, buying, buying the spores. But I bought... I didn't buy the actual game. I bought the, the monster-making part of it. So that was hilarious. I love that thing. I'm sitting there watching it. He's so cute. He is just, everybody loves Carl. Everybody. Which makes me happy. And he just brings a <laughs> smile to everybody's face. It is a dancing corner com. <laughs> it is a dancing corner com. That's what it is. It is. Yeah, it's I wrote a com. story and uh, for one of the free rides and and it had a dancing corner cob in it and so then i went and made a monster that and and then people were like what did i just see <laughs> i'm like it's, i love that thing. and i'm like it's a corn cob <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm just sitting there watching oh i played I 
I need him like on my screen for like a screen. I mean, saver if you so. ever ever need a smile, you just look at Carl. <laughs> and, and if you can't, he's got like three videos now. And if you because exactly. and it's funny because people are like, "Did you make a new Carl video yet?" <laughs> Where's Carl? Well, how do you get him to dance? Does he just automatically dance, or just no? You gotta go into the simulator thing, and uh, and yeah, no, it's a whole process. And then I gotta take the background out. Uh, um, yeah. Well, yeah, it wasn't meant. It was actually for a children's story, I think, or something like that. When I made him. And there's another video with some spores in it too, which is not scary, but it's um, uh, nothing like Carl though. No, he's awesome. no. He's Everybody awesome. loves Carl, which is just hilarious. I mean, how could you not like a, a corn on the cob? Yeah. And dance? The other thing that would be better is like when he's dancing, if like popcorn flew off of him. You know. <laughs> So yeah, that's my claim to fame is Carl. <laughs> well, we have about five minutes left. Is there anything else you wanted to mention today? No. We didn't really talk much about simming your life, but well, <laughs> if you ever did. have any questions. Our whole can... life is sim your life. <laughs> sim your life. I know, and my husband has been here for two hours of the show and has not come in and said anything. Which is congratulations. Mine yeah. call. And I'm like, why are you calling? <laughs> That's why my phone was ringing. I was like, what? Are you awake? Yes, honey, I'm on the there. No, he called during the show. Oh, well, I thought he was calling to see if you're awake. Oh, no. No. <laughs> he, he doesn't. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Well, let's see what else we need to say. We did the disclaimer. They have absolutely yeah. no responsibility for anything we say on the show. No. Um. <laughs> no, absolutely none. Nor absolutely do. not. Nor do we. After after this show, we have the Whip Girl, which is hacking mental performance with what? Whip Girl. Yes. And then we have the Music and Money Show with Scary Cat Guide, and then we have what what are Oh, I forget the name of the show with Bucky Dirtle and Dog Hun. <laughs> I do remember his name. They will be on tonight and then might have a pirate radio. You never know. You have to check in at night and just look and see if there's a pirate radio show because Rondon and uh, Codex do have a tag. So if you would like to be tagged for a show, let us know. We can put your uh, rule on top of your name and it will tell you whenever there's somebody on be on the show. And we can do that for any radio show. Oh, Rondon says we have a new show today. Oh, cool. J.R. Swab is going to start his show today. Is he starting after Bucky and Doghon? I'm not sure about that. We have so many new shows coming up. It's just it's it's really cool. And if you would like to make a show on the MSP Waves Radio, you can get a hold of any of the guys in charge, which is Ron, Don, Globo, Cop, Menno. Um, they can give you an application. You fill it out. You make sure that you have an OBS and that you can stream, and then you can do your show. And even if you can't and you have bad internet, then you find a friend that's halfway <laughs> across the country that has internet, and you have them do it. That's how we're doing it here. <laughs> Rondon says that they are on tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, right after Bucky. I like That's how you wrote that in there. And really, she didn't want to do it. <laughs> she, yeah, that was not a list or uh, high on her list of things to do. I know. I was, it cracked um, me up because it's so true. <laughs> literally dragged her on there. We've had a good time. Yeah. Show. It's very fun. We get to learn new things about each other on air in front of the strangers that are coming to listen to us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not strangers anymore because we know you now because you listen to us and we listen to you and we talk. We level up every time that you, you do chat. You level up in the MSP Waves server. 
Yeah. Now you. Yeah, each server. Oh, that's kind of confusing about the Discord <clears throat> is that each server you go on is a different level. Yeah. 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 I I do believe that there are some show openings still, especially if you want to do it on a Monday or a Friday afternoon. Um, there's a lot of spots open on those two days. Most of the um, evening is kind of filled, but you can get in afternoon shows, especially um, in the morning. Oh, we're going off the air, so we better well, wrap minute. it up. We have 55 seconds. Yeah. Well, thank you, yeah. everybody who stopped yes. and that played along with us today. Okay. And we hope you enjoyed our show. We enjoyed being here. For the yes, most part. And we are here every Tuesday in the mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's 4 o'clock UTC. Yeah. So, yay. You stay tuned after us for Whip Girl and then Scary Cat Guide and then Bucky Dirtle and then JR Swabs. Hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry. I got, oh my gosh, I got f f 15 seconds left. You think it's it's a long time, but it's. it's Thank it's you, short. T3. And thank you to everybody that has been here from day one. I, we really appreciate it because uh, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun for us. And this way we get to talk to each other for, t for two hours every week, which is uh, fun for us. And I know we always go off topic, but we hope you enjoy it anyway. So, And we are done. We went over our time. That's right. Yeah, that's right.